welcome to Deadly Flies and Tackle um, Freshwater Fly Tying Series. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, bass bug or a cod popper. This is a, a pretty big version that I'm making. This is on a 2.0 uh, Gamma Katsu B10S uh, stinger hook. You'll also find um, similar style hooks uh, on my website in the smaller sizes which are good for bass. And uh, they're, they're uh, my Reaper Stinger Singer series. Anyway, so first off, just going to use some 3.0 fly tying thread and just wind that over the shank all the way down to the hook point, to the hook point itself. From the hook point, I'm going to use a piece of uh, 35 pound uh, monofilament. This is a Schneider monofilament. It's a nice springy mono, which is exactly what you want. And this is for a weed guard, so you just put it over the line like that, and then just tie it in. And as you go, you just want to hold that, those two strands of fishing line together, and just wind down the hook shank, and take it right down, probably about halfway down the bend. And this is going to be your weed guard on the finished fly. This is one of my favourite flies to use for Saratoga up in Corroboree Billabong in the Northern Territory of Australia. Okay, so just tying in a little bit of um, sparkly flash here. This is just to reinforce the bounded area over the weed guard and make it more durable when you're fishing. Fish's teeth won't wear through that thread. I mean, you can use super glue over it as well, but this is stronger. So I, I like to do this. It adds a bit of flash. It's like a, a belly, like an insect's belly or a frog's belly to the effect to the fly. And I'll just wind it back over that. And you can you know, run some nail varnish over it. Or fly tying glue and you're done. Just trim that tag off there with a little bit of flash. And cut that one off there like that. And I'll add some um, crystal flash here. Just, this is a nice multicolored one here. Just looks a bit like a bug's wings. flash in in the middle and then pull it back and tie it back over it that way it can never come out and that last the feathers and then I've got a bit of sparkly flash here a bit of pearl and silver use any color you like really it doesn't matter just tie it in again pull it back tie it over okay now here this is a, a nice feather duster There's some good neck hackers here Probably take three or four aside. It's a pretty decent fly, so I'm going to take a few. So just grab one. Just grab three. And they're quite webby, so three will be enough. So what you want to do is sort of align them up. You can stagger them if you like, just so that they're sitting flat back to back. And measure it up. So you want it, you know, you want probably about three inches, maybe a little more on the back of it. You can always cut them later if you're getting short strike. Um, bass can do that when they're smaller, so under 40 centimeters, but cod will just inhale those. So anyway, you're holding it down with your thumb against the, the hook shank, and then don't let go of it. You wind in the back of the butt and then bring it forward. Doesn't matter where the tips go, because they're all going to be stuck under the popper head. As you can see, it's nice and even like that. It really wouldn't matter if they were all messed up, the fish would still go for it, but this creates more of a water pushing effect, you know, like a frog swimming along. Um, just to add these flies, you know, unlike a, a lure with all the 
feathers, you know, just the slightest movement in the water. I've often had uh, fish just smash these while they're sitting on the surface, or if you're dragging them along behind the kayak, especially in the, in the night time, you can expect a vicious strike you know, from fish following this. So again, same thing. Just holding it down, wind it around the butts, and wind that over. Again, there's no need for neatness here because it's going to be under the popper head. So then you just give it a little pull. You see that? It's nice and splayed. Then you can add a nice little collar just to finish it off. You can use a bit of grizzly hackle as well. Or it doesn't really matter too much. It just helps the feathers stay in place. I'm probably going to use three feathers for this one. So. side forward so just tying the butts like that. And then palm of the hack will just pull back on the barbs to get it to sit out like a like a thing. And I like to put my finger in there too to help them stay together. Certainly on the first few wraps. Yeah, again just sort of teasing the feathers forward while holding the others. Again. Again. That. that just creates a legs effect on the fly, giving it a, a buggier appearance. I mean, you could avoid this step if you wanted to. I, I like putting a little bit of the collar on these things just to give it even even more you know, more appeal to the fish. Sell these on, on my website as well. They're um, precision cut foam. This is probably out of a sandal or something. Good recycling for them. Nice round foam. Doesn't need a cup face. I'll just cut it to the right length. So just measure it up. So it's roughly about half of this one. So I'll just cut it like that. Just straighten it up. You see, it has a little bit of a taper from being cut, so that's good. Just get a bamboo skewer, line up the center, just wiggle it through, get it coming out roughly in the center, it doesn't matter too much, just like that, so that's nice in the hole there. Just wiggle it on, and you can add some super glue here before you put it on, or epoxy, or you can just leave it as it is. If you're not going to add eyes, they're not going to spin around. So this extra flashy off of what I got, so just let that cut the uh, where you go. Just like that, isn't that sexy? I'll just grab those um, two nylon filaments for the weed gut. And what you want to do is actually feed them into the vise so that they don't fell up. Okay. And you want to bring them forward. For the weed guard, so you see, you want to have a little bit of a gap. The bigger the gap, the more weedless it is, and also the harder it is to hook fish. Um, I often do away without the weed guard if I'm fishing open waters where there aren't any logs or weed beds, weed beds to work the fly over. But you can also.
also use lighter ones, but anyway, it's not too much of a big deal. I'll show you another tip for adjusting the, the uh, clearance between the point and the, and the double weed guard here as well. So first thing you're going to do is reattach the fine tying thread to the hook, bind down it, probably about two or three millimeters. snaggy waters and you want to have as big a gap as possible you can just pull that up and it will increase the gap so just cut that off now these two little points here just to give it more of that insect look and you can burn the ends of these two to stop them slipping out i just do that that's my way of doing it and that's it that's a completed fly and you can add uh, some stick on eyes or some um, it's actually held pretty well even without the glue some um, doll's eyes or uh, solid eyes, whatever you like, or just leave it as it is. And uh, there you have it. A nice frog popper. And I also sell these on my website. <laughs>